Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, none of the farm animals, this is Arinia. Welcome to episode 6 of King Mammoth. Now, we're continuing our quest for the steam machines. But originally, I was going to make a macerator. However, I've decided that going for an alloy smelter first would be more beneficial. And let me show you why. Because with the mortar... I, of course, get pulverized copper, and then I pulverize some tin, and if I do that, I get four bronze blend. Now these I have, these I turn into bronze plates, um, but if we look at the usage of it, you get one bronze ingot out of them. But if we look at bronze ingot, if we look at the recipes for it in the right alloy smelter, I can do it without the extra step of having to macerate the copper, at least in that alloy kiln. I wonder if I can do it in the Greg Tech alloy smelter. Yeah, see, in the alloy furnace. You, in the alloys, you can smelt the copper and tin directly. I'm not sure if that holds too f true for the Greg Tech one, but it would save me having to directly macerate the uh, copper. Now, you notice I got two different kinds of copper here. I got alchemistry and thermal foundation. Well, it turns out the reason behind that is that, for some reason, if I smelt them in the... In the steam furnace, I get the alchemistry copper ingots. If I smelt them in the regular furnaces over here, I get the thermal foundation ones, which is weird, but who knows. Either way, there's 44 bronze blend. I'm still making use of these because... Well, I, I need to burn off some of the steam back there, but it's nice to be able to get things done in a relatively quick order. And having five furnaces instead of one is a definite way to do that. So we're going to go ahead and get all of that going, and then we'll come over here to the steam furnace and throw the other 12 in. That'll give us bronze ingots in short order. Now... Steam Alloy Smelter. I need two furnaces, six pipes, and a bricked bronze hull. I have three small bronze pipes left over. I've got the bricks. And we just need the bronze, I guess. And see, again, I'm getting forestry bronze out of this one, but I'm getting thermal foundation bronze out of the other machine. And of course, these will work so much better once we get the high-pressure ones, the steel ones. Um, And the same thing with my steam boiler, because I am starting to go through that. In fact, it's running a little low on coal, so I'm going to top it up. Okay. Let's go ahead and make the bricked bronze hull. And the hammer. There's the bricked bronze hull. Now I need the furnaces. Boom, two furnaces. Let's go ahead and grab the rest of these ingots. 20 ingots. And it gives me 12 of those. Huh. That's some interesting uh, mod shenanigans happening there. I'll have to look more into why that is. Okay, but we have enough to make the small bronze pipes, which that's not what I wanted it to do. 
small bronze pipe. Okay, hammer file and six bronze ingots. Bronze plates. Okay, so file, hammer, bronze plates. That's four more. Okay, that gives me seven. That's just what I needed. Bricked bronze hull, furnaces, and small bronze pipes. Steam alloy smelter. Boom. Now, if I've done this correctly, well, if I had it, the right kind of copper ingots to begin with, because I have two, two, and whatever. I'll have to see if I can or dictionary convert here. Or no, that'll pull them all into Railcraft Nuggets. Okay, and then I think I can smash those back together over here. Into the same kind of copper ingot. Okay. Now let's see. Put five copper ingots. Yeah, it works! See? We've saved ourselves the step of having to macerate the uh, items. And that gives me four bronze ingots. See? See how cool that is? That's just one of those little tricks you learn. Saves your tools. It's a good thing, too, because my mortar's almost dead. <laughs> okay, and then... What did I want to do here? Uh, no, I want my forge hammer. That's right, get it making plates. Now we'll start on the Steam Macerator. Which is two diamonds, four pipes, and two pistons around bronze hull. Okay, so it's cobblestone, iron, wood. Okay. I'm gonna make a saw really quick, because I need to do that. I don't know where my sticks went to do that. Um, so many chests. Okay, there's my sticks. I'm going to go ahead and make myself an iron saw. Why did I use the... Actually, I'm going to make it a bronze saw, because I might as well... Hammer file? No, it's the other way. File, hammer, that's right. And then a stick. Gives me a saw. Now, saw, I can, of course, make wood more efficiently. For planks and sticks and things... Uh, that would be great if I had wood. Let's go get some wood. Fortunately, I have a tree right here. Do, 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 do. And come on. I thought I had a tree chopper down here, mod. Well, at least those evaporated quickly. Okay, and I got grape seeds. Huh. Okay. Of all the things to get out of a tree, you get grape seeds. Now, the saw is important because see how by default you only get two planks, but if you use the saw, you get four. Let's see, we're going to need quite a few pistons, so I'm just going to make four of them for now. Wait a minute. <laughs> stone boots. Yeah, I'd give you slowness, because you're walking in stone. What the deuce? Stone boots. Yes. Okay, now I have four pistons. I have two diamonds. All right, I think we can put this gadget together once we make the pipes. Hammer file, small bronze pipe. Now uh, we need the bronze hull too. Of course we need bronze plates for that. Fortunately, it just so happens I have a ton. Now again, with unifying the bronze, seems like I'm going to have to do that a lot. I might want to go through my 
chests between episodes here and unify all my ingots. Just to make sure I get everything together. Ah! Sh Nikes. Well, I have a bronze chest now. Uh, okay. Let's do this again correctly with the hammer in the middle. Thank you. Okay, the pistons. The die. That's a diamond backpack, not diamonds. The diamonds. And one, two, three, four. Four bronze pipes. Steam macerator. Okay, and. Fudge, there we are. Okay. I'm gonna use the dirt block as a step stool. Boom, macerator. We've got four of our machines finished. And since that's gone down a ways, I can go ahead and throw another bucket of water in there. Just to keep this topped up. Because you don't want it running out of water. Because if you try and put water in it while it's hot and it's run out of water, boom! So, yeah. We're not going to do that. Now, what's the next machine I want? I think I want the steam... Extractor, so we can start to get rubber. Piston glass, bronze hull, and six bronze pipes. Well, we're going to have to make some more bronze, but that's going to go even quicker now, because, well, I could macerate them in the macerator, but... Meh. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Thanks so much for watching, and stay tuned for the outro. Hey everyone, Arinia here. Thanks so much for watching this latest video out of my channel, and thanks so much to these patrons who, among others, are helping make this content possible by donating at least $10 on my Patreon page. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a comment, tell us what we need to do better. If you liked it, still leave a comment. I'm always open to input. If you like the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join us on the Discord community, link in the description. If you want to support the channel, and I really hope you do, please, down in the description is a link to the Buy Me A Coffee page, which you can donate to for a one-time donation, or the Patreon page, which you can head on to to donate monthly and get perks. In the meantime, this is Irinia saying once again, thanks for watching, 